Hello everybody. So today I have an antenna that I just had to have. I had to have it eight years ago. In fact, I just opened the box this weekend and there's the 2017 ham catalog that it came with. I guess some kind of ants have gotten it. This thing's been in three sheds, but the shed at the old house, the shed at my grandmother's house, the shed at this house. So I, I've been putting this uh, with me from when I moved until I bought this house. Now this is the antenna, uh, let's see. This is the high gain UB7030SAT. It's a 432 to 438 megahertz satellite antenna, okay? And it has polarization circuitry for manual selection of either right-hand circular polarization or left-hand circular polarization. And 30 elements on a 4.2 wavelength boom. Each set of 15 elements is designed to give 14 dBD gain based upon that tech note, okay? Handles 200 watts. So this is what I'm putting together, and I'll tell you why I'm putting it together. And here it is, halfway put together, omitting all the cursing that I did putting it together and burning almost my entire Saturday today. So beautiful, I could have been out in the beach or something in the pool, but now I've decided to put this antenna together. It's been eight years in the making. So uh, I have a few more things to do, but what am I gonna use this for? The, when I get this video completed, I'll show you. I'm gonna attempt some EME moon bounce using UHF 70 centimeters with a Mirage 100 watt amplifier, my ICOM 705, some 7 8 hardline, and uh, JT65. Now, I'm going to, you know, I got some other, I got to fit this on here and the uh, brackets, but it took me all day today because I had to take, a, <laughs> take it apart. I didn't listen to my wife who says, read your directions. And in fact, in the manual, it says, read this manual. Let's see. Yeah, read this manual twice. It will save a lot of time. And I didn't do that because I was counting elements wrong. You have a reflector and a driven element for horizontal, a reflector and drill, driven element for vertical. Then you have director one, director one, director two, director two. What did I do? I went like this. So you have reflector driven. Then I went. Yeah, then I went one, two, three, or something like that. Anyways, it was one off. So by the time I got here, there's six on the horizontal, five on the vertical on the first half of the boom. And the colors, they're color coded for the different lengths, right? And I, I laid them out, but then when I put them in, by the time I got here, something wasn't right. I was out of colors on one side and not the other. So I took them all out, started again, but I do have two missing right here. This one and this one. At this point, I really don't care because I burned the entire day putting this together. Um, so, anyways, uh, EME moon bounce. What I'm going to do is, there's a kitty out there. So I'm going to take, make a little stand platform. Put it right here about where kitty is. And it's going to go up. And it's going to be facing. See, the moon will come up like this in the summer and like this in the winter. So I'll have a little bit of time. Um... You know, it's better the closer to the horizon you get for the longest distance. You know, when it's rising here, it's setting on the other side of the earth. And you can make, you know, with a scheduled, scheduled, uh, you know, who's calling CQ website, you know, where you go on the EME and you could see who's who's listening, um, you know, when they're transmitting, when you should be receiving, vice versa. So it'll be a scheduled with a backyard thing here. Maybe I'll get a big gun on the other side, which is the people that put you know, acres of antennas and all kinds of stuff. I should be able to get this pulled off in the backyard. I've seen it done with less. I've seen it done with a 100 watt amplifier um, on two meters with a five element Yagi in the backyard and, and the guy did it. So this should be a little bit better on UHF with this much um, gain on this antenna, okay? And it is circular polarized, so I could flip back and forth. The polarization usually changes going to the moon and back. So I will have a little bit of an advantage over a regular Yagi with the circular polarization. So it's gonna be facing like this and you know, as much as I can get, I'm gonna hang off of this platform that I, when I have the antenna up here, I'm gonna hang a string like a nut or bolt on it with a protractor to get my elevation. Um, and then azimuth probably use a compass, but I'll get as close as I can as possible. Never done it before. Uh, you just caught the squirrel right there. That was, what, you know, nature's wildlife right here. <laughs> Anyways, 
There we go. So that's what I'm looking at here. Um, I'm going to put the rest of this together tomorrow. I'm not going to burn my entire weekend doing this. That would be absurd. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that the elements were as straight as they could be. Um, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty straight. Let me see. I mean, they're pretty, pretty straight. They're almost there. All right. So let me clean up this backyard. But that's a little update on the... Where is it? There it is. Boy, I'm just not in program today. The UB7030 SAT. I really don't have, I can't find any videos on YouTube. So this may be the only video on YouTube of this antenna uh, being used for EME moon bounce with the 705 and 100 watt Mirage amplifier. So there you go. Uh, comments, if you will. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> This piece right here, it you know, it lined up underneath with a couple screw holes, but then you couldn't get this on because of the screws. So I'm not sure where this is supposed to go. Also, there's a split boom thing here. You slide over, it's split. And when I tightened this down, it, it squashed it together. So that boom is solid. I'm not sure where this goes. But, you know, extra parts are best, right? I mean, it's, I'm not sure what, I guess, this, I got to put a screw in here. Or I got a screw in here. I'm not sure. I got to finish that up. I'm not sure what this piece is for sticking out here. It's not for a handle or nothing. So I'm not sure what that is. Unless maybe, maybe I can use it for a handle when it's up on that platform. Maybe I could angle it up and down. But anyways, there it is. A short video. If you think I can't do it and it's a waste of time, let me know in the comments. Um, and maybe I could use this for something else. I mean, I know it's an Oscar antenna for satellites, but damn, I could do satellites with a three element or five element log periodic and a five watt handheld. This is a little too much for me for satellite, but it'd be great for EME. So seven, three.